you guys didn't hear, uh, Mark's getting ready for a show, and I am going to diet in with him all the way to the show. As he gets ready to uh, do this venture, I'm going to I'm going to attempt to get the most sliced I've ever been in my life with him. I'm excited for that. You need so. support when you do these kind of things. So, and I think most people think that like I'll give you support. I'll, I'll, I'll hang with you. I'll train with you. <laughs> right. I like the idea of, of suffer together. Suffer together. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, diet down with yeah. you and do it together the whole way, and uh, and it motivates me to see you. How are you doing, Mike? Sucks. How's your smoking? My life sucks. All right, good. Let's bench with no calories. <laughs> Not flooding yourself with as much food. But there's uh, a lot of research uh, talks, that talks about uh, protein sparing, like not eating, not eating as much protein. Your body can get used to it, so it adapts to kind of anything. I think it adapts to it. Uh, and then for me, I've been doing this so long, high protein so long. There is, for me, a take where I, I go away from it and I cut my protein to four ounces, which is less than one ounce. Um, and it starves for it, and then I put it back in, yeah, right. and it just sucks it up and utilizes that much better. You've seen that happen a lot with carbs. Yes. Yeah. Now, I've never done it with protein in a sense, and I'm like, let's experiment. Where is it? How much muscle can I retain with such little protein? Give your body system a break from it. Yep. And starve it, make it want it. Switching things up, trying different things, mixing it up, and still learning. Learning a lot. This bodybuilding is a lot different, isn't it? <laughs> There's a lot of similarities. Right? There's, There's a, lot lot of, a lot of crossover. There's a lot of differences. I think uh, for me, health-wise, uh, and I noticed it with Robbie too, is that if we stay with the first exercise as a powerlifting mentality, regardless of diet. Um, it keeps that nervous system used to that heavier weight, yeah. that little bit more fullness and thickness. Right. Um, and then we can get to everything else. When you start, for me, and people I see, as soon as you start going away, going old school mentality of bodybuilding, I'm going to go in and do my 10s, 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 yeah, tens. Yeah. Within a couple of weeks, you lose all that power. Yeah. And, and then go back to it is tougher, and then you start dieting more, and then everything starts to, you know, right? engulf itself and you're like, ah, oh, I lost all my strength. That makes a lot of sense. If you do like four sets of 10 with short rest, you can't use much weight. For me, sometimes that's been good, especially actually even in powerlifting, to, like I use, I would use bodybuilding tricks sometimes in powerlifting to pre-fatigue myself on purpose so I use less weight. So right. it's less likely to get hurt. Right. And you're using power to things in, in, in a different way. Like utilizing it to capitalize on that first exercise, the deadlift, the bench, the squat. Right? I like your mind process on, on that though. So like even yesterday, like rather than me having to squat uh, a shit ton of weight and put my back and my whole body through a lot of trauma, I did uh, six sets of leg extensions. So have, now, now the party's a lot different, right? You got three plates on there? Three is on, we're locked in. You gotta loaded. check with these guys, make sure there's no sabotage. On, on deck. Don't change that seat. Smelly belly on yeah, deck. Turn it on now, here we go. Lance is coming for you today. There we go. Oh, easy. Oh, yeah. 
that's what I want. Let's see what you got. Concentrate now. Here we go. in earlier, arm was down. Now, advanced movement, it's better isolation for him right now. His arms are out, okay? Look at this, look at the stretch. Look at, see that? That's the range of motion, he's keeping the tension on it. He's, he's not going all the way down, he's not going all the way. He's staying right, you know, three fourths of the movement, just focused, isolation. <laughs> and he's also going until he fatigues. No number counting now, now we're just kind of going. That's my boy. That's my boy. I like that. I like that because of the fact that we did something heavy to tear the fibers, and now he's going and, and uh, to the point of fatigue after the fact. Uh, so it's straight away. And then, like he talked about earlier, sometimes come in. Fatigue the muscle, put yourself in the weakest position possible, then try the big compound movement. And it's, man, I tell you, when you start processing workouts to this level, you make gains no matter what age. Oh, Mike. Got it. Get it, Mike. Come on. Drive it, drive it. Nice. You can do this a couple different ways. So Mark, Mark and I did the first ones. Hands were here, elbows were in tight. And what we're doing is we're pushing. But it's actually, you're pushing underneath and you're hitting the mid. And then this last one, I went up top, which you would think is, you know, like lower chest and stuff. But what I'm doing is I'm focusing again on the outside, we're pushing away from it, and pushing outward as we're doing it. So it's a complete different, same exercise, just moving in the hand. So again, outside, almost like a decline. Well, you can't really focus in on more than like one spot at a time, so he's gonna focus right in on here on his armpit and trying to drive his pack kind of all through here. And then same thing with the middle. If you're just trying to just work the middle, it'd be the same thing. You, you can only concentrate on one part at a time. So he's able to squeeze and pull everything together. And he's like almost trying to make those two pecs uh, meet up and kind of tear all the muscle fibers that are right down the center there. But if you're trying to think of like two or three different things at one time, it's not gonna feel right to you. 
I exploded on the right time there. Nice, get in there, spot him. Finishing the workout. Um, we're gonna do a push up. Uh, Heath, make sure you're in on this. The winner gets a free weekend at Seagull Suites in Vegas. Uh, I thought it was at Mike's house. It's uh, Friday through Sunday. Um, compliments of Judy, because uh, she's caring and loving. And sponsored by Mona Socks. <laughs> Mona Socks. And Steve cares. And Seagull cares. About Steve. Can you go already, please? <laughs> All right, let's go. We're going on. We're going on the same time. Oh, oh here we go. Little push-up competition going on. Come on, Come on, Steve. <laughs> Down. One. Down. Two. Down. Three. Down. Four. Down. Five. That's a team. Down. Six. Six. Down. Seven. Down. Eight. Eight. Down. Nine. Nine. Down. Ten. Down. Eleven. Down. Twelve. Down. Thirteen. Down. Down. Oh, Four. Down. Four. Down. Twenty-five. Juju. Down. Catch him. Twenty-six. <laughs> you didn't get twenty-six. <laughs> and the winner is. <laughs> and the winner. <laughs> Predator. Oh, I'm sorry. Have you pushing too many pencils? I joined it We'll see you tomorrow, 4 a.m. We're doing this, guys. I don't know if you know this. I am dieting into the show with him all the way to God, the show. Right and, and Mona's going, your hair. Uh, <laughs> I thought she was going to jealous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love this, man. This will be a fun process for me. Uh, and I'm glad that you're back down here. Your erection is huge. I mean, your erector. <laughs> <laughs> Spinal erector is a man. We're going to go get, Nick, I mean, eat now. And uh, that's it, man. Good job. Wow. Hey now.